Hello, this is Math 6, Understand and Write Inequalities. In this lesson, we'll understand and write an inequality that describes a real world situation. Let's look at solve and discuss it. The record time for the girls 50 meter freestyle swimming competition is 24.49 seconds. Camellia, Camellia has been training and wants to break the record. What are some possible times Camellia would have to swim to break the current record? Okay, so I'll look at this information we have. The chart says that lane one, swimmer A, um, has 26.56, swimmer B, 25.14, swimmer C, 24.49, swimmer D, 25.39. What are some possible times she'd have to swim to break the current record? Okay, which is 24.49. So does Camilla need a, need a time greater than or less than the current record to break it? Less, right? So what are some times that are less than current record? It doesn't have to be one exact answer. There's multiple answers. So yeah, 24 would be less than 24.49, so 24. So what are some other records? 24.4, is that less than 24.49? Yes, it's still less. So 24.49 or four, right? Um, or 23.55, that's also less than 24.49. 24 point, that's super fast, right? Or 24.25, that's less than 24.49. So any number that's less than 24.49. Obviously, she can't swim in one second. That's, that's not how it goes. Like she actually needs a um, reasonable record, okay? So you can say Camellia could break the record if her time is 24, 24.4, 24.55, or 24.25. Okay, times that are less than 24.49 seconds um, would all be a good goal. Let's look at focus on math practices. Fran won a blue ribbon for growing the heaviest pumpkin. It weighed 217 pounds. What could be the weights of other pumpkins in the contest? How could you show the weights of the other pumpkins using a mathematical statement? X Blame. Okay. Um, the heaviest pumpkin was 217 pounds. And he won the heaviest pumpkin, right? So, what are other pumpkins that didn't want win the prize? The, do they have to be smaller or bigger? They obviously wasn't the heaviest, right? So they're gonna be lighter than 217 pounds, which is less than 217. So some numbers, give me some numbers that are less than 217, but it's close. Okay, 216 pounds, uh, 210 pounds, or even 200 pounds. These are other weights, possible weights, okay? So if X represents uh, all the, the weights of other pumpkins, X should be less than 217, not including 217. So in this lesson, let's think about how we can write an inequality to describe a situation. There's gonna be a lot of different situations in this lesson. Um, so let's practice thinking about the real world situations and how it relates to our um, expressions. Example one, understand inequalities. 
An inequality is a mathematical sentence that contains less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, or not equal to. So how can you write an inequality to describe the ages of the children who must be accompanied by an adult at the sledding hill? Okay, notice children under the age of A must be accompanied by an adult. Why, first of all, what ages are you asked to describe? The ages of children who must be accompanied by an adult at the beach water slide, which means ages that are under eight years, okay? Why would you use inequality instead of an equation? Why can't you use an equation for this problem? An equation equals to something. It should only have one answer, right? The equation only describes one value. In this situation, you need to describe many values. So you have to use inequality. Okay, some other ages that you could show on the number line that's uh, less than eight would be six, five, three, 1.5, right? These are all ages younger than eight. So your inequality should be A, any number less than eight. Let's look at try question. Use the number line to show some of the ages of people who do not need to be accompanied by an adult. Write an inequality to represent the ages of people N who do not need to be accompanied by an adult. So if you're exactly eight, do you still need an adult or are you okay? It says under the age. If it's less than eight, it doesn't include eight, okay? So eight would be okay. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight is also included, and any number greater than eight is also in okay not to have uh, an adult accompanying them. Okay, so what's our inequality? N is greater than or equal to eight. It includes eight, so you have to uh, have that equal sign, half equal sign. Okay, that means it includes eight. Convince me, how do you know to which group of which group an eight year old belongs? Who those who must be accompanied by an adult or those who do not need to be accompanied by an adult? How do you know? An eight year old belongs in the group of those who do not need to be accompanied by an adult because the phrase under the age of eight indicates that eight is not included. Okay. Let's write that down. Okay, so let's look at the next example, write inequalities. Write an inequality to represent a situation. Part A, the length of a piece of wire L is longer than 20 and one, one fourth feet. It's longer, means it's greater than, okay? And it's not including 20 and one fourth feet because it's longer, it has to be longer. 20 and one fourth is not longer than 20 one fourth. It's equal to, right? Part B, the number of students S is at most 30. At most means at most it could be 30. So it includes 30, but it must be less than 30. Okay? So these are the inequalities. 
the cost of the pizza C will be at least eight. At least means it also includes that number, it must be at least that number, eight dollars. And so that's gonna be, oh. All right, so it's gonna equal to eight. Zoe's age is not 11 years old, which means it's not greater than, it's not less than, it's just not 11, okay? So Z is not equal to 11. Let's look at this try question. Write an inequality to represent each situation. Harry is taller than 60 inches. How would you write an inequality? Shirley is not four years old. Hank has at least $7.5. Come back when you're done. Okay, so H could be Harry. H is taller than 60 inches. Sherry is not four years old. Hank is at least, so it includes $7.5. Okay. So in summary, inequality symbols can be used to describe situations that have more than one possible solution. So we have less than, less than equal to, Greater than, greater than, equal to, not equal to. These are the symbols for the inequalities. Okay, so that was lesson four dash six, understand and write inequalities. All right, we'll continue our next lesson in the next video. Bye.